Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Zephyr for Jira tutorial, we will learn how to configure Zephyr within Jira. So sometimes when you install Zephyr for Jira, uh, you have to configure it and especially in the current Jira cloud version. So you have this next gen project as well, right? So uh, you have to configure Zephyr for the next gen project separately and then in the classic project, I'll show you uh, there is very common issue that happens once you install Zephyr add-on and then you have to basically figure out how to fix that. Okay, so first thing first, let's first configure Zephyr so that we are able to create our test cases, right? So uh, now at the moment, if I click on, you know, create button here, okay, and select, say, for example, any next-gen uh, Scrum Pro, not the next-gen, let's say classic Scrum project, uh, and then in the issue type, ideally, once we install Zephyr, the test issue type should be there, right? Um, but it is not shown here. So this is very common issue, uh, which, which happens when you install Zephyr and we have to first fix it out, right? So we have to get the test issue type in order to create the test cases in Zephyr. So what we need to do is basically we go, we need to have the administration access. So if you have the administration access to Jira, which in this case, because you are learning, you would have signed up for Jira instance, you will be having administration access. So in the right hand side, go to the cogwheel here, click on it and go to the issues. Okay. So in the issues, we will first verify that the test issue type is there, right? So if you scroll down, you will see that the test issue type hat is there, which is basically the standard Jira issue type, uh, which is used to create a Zephyr test cases. So once you install Zephyr plugin, this issue type by default gets created, right? And if you see here, the default issue types theme is uh, related to it, right? So there are no other issue type schemes that are having this issue type. And that's the reason when we go to any particular project um, then it is not displaying the issue type test into that particular project because the projects are using their specific issue type schemes right so if i talk about this particular rt uh, scrum issue type scheme or the project that i um, want to create an issue in so for example i want to create issue in this particular classic scrum which is the rt uh, uh, the key with the RT. So in this, I don't have this issue type. So what I have to do is I simply have to go to basically, uh, I'll go to the issue type scheme. Okay. So from the left hand side, you can click on issue type schemes. And in the issue type scheme, in whichever project you want to add or you want to create the test cases, then you have to basically associate this particular issue type, which is test to that particular scheme. Okay. To associate that, what you need to do is you simply edit this particular scheme. So I am uh, editing this uh, RT project. So this will be available in RT project. So once I edit it, you will see the available issue type is test available here. What you have to do is you have to simply drag and drop in the issue type for the current scheme okay once you drag and drop it click on save do not forget to save it so click on save and once it is saved you will see that a particular that particular scheme here rt has the test issue type now in this particular project i will be able to create the test case okay if i want to create a test case in this project then i have to associate that issue type to this particular scheme as well okay so now you can now you know how where to navigate in order to associate the test issue type to that particular scheme so this is about the classic projects okay now in jira cloud you have the classic projects and the uh, and the next gen project so we have learned how to associate the test issue type to the classic project now if i click on create and select the project where we have associated that issue type so rcv classic scrum and now i should be having that test issue type available for me okay so this is zephyr uh, issue type which is named as test 
now i'll create the summary i will provide the summary as uh, you know other issue type or how we create the other issues in jira and provide the details and click on create to create the test cases i'll cover creation of the test cases in separate tutorial but this is how you will enable the issue type test for any project in zephyr in, in jira classic project okay now if we go to kanban or if we go to next gen scrum or next gen kanban project so for example next gen scrum and i want to enable zephyr for next gen scrum or next gen kanban the process is a bit different so what we have to do is we have to go to the zephyr section in the left hand side and once i click on this particular link you will see that we have to enable zephyr for jira project in rms okay and before we can start using zephyr in next gen projects these are the steps that i have to follow so we have already done step one basically downloaded the zephyr um, you know zephyr icon we i don't um, want to download at the moment but if you want to use a specific icon zephyr icon for the issue type you download the icon uh, so that you can use it for that particular issue type for now i'll use the default issue type default icon that are available within jira then we'll create an issue type in the project settings so we'll we can simply navigate from here to the project settings and we need to create an issue type manually in the project settings and then the issue type we have to give the issue type an appropriate name and create it okay and then once that issue type has test has been created we have to basically select that issue type and enable it enable zephyr for this particular next gen scrum project okay so let's go to the project settings and create the test issue type and then associate okay so in the project settings you can see to add an issue type i simply can go to the add issue type and i'll provide the name okay so i'll say test and i can provide the description as well if i want to change the icon so usually you can download the icon as mentioned by zephyr in the step one so and then associate that icon with this test okay so that way you know by looking at the icon that this is zephyr test case okay for as of now i'll just leave it as is uh, but changing an icon is basically uh, basically simply clicking on the change icon and uh, picking up the file that you downloaded okay so click on create now so you can see that the issue test has been added there all right now the issue has been added what i'll do is i'll go back to the project settings uh, or the first page itself here okay now let me refresh this so that the issue type is visible in the drop down okay now here i can see test issue type has been created and available for us okay so i'll simply choose the test issue type and enable zephyr for jira for this particular project all right now you can see zephyr for jira is ready I simply have to click on create button to start creating the test cases within this particular next gen scrum project. All right. If you want to go through the quick details that are provided here, just simply click on next. Anyways, I'll be covering that in this particular tutorial. Right. So that is done. And now within this project, if I want to create a test case, then I simply click on create and I'll be having the test issue type available in this particular next gen project as well, right? So this is how you will enable the Zephyr for Jira into your next gen software project or the classic project, right? So this is very important step before you can actually start creating test cases in Zephyr, okay? so for the next gen kanban project the process will be almost similar there is not much difference so if i go to next gen kanban and go to zephyr the process is exactly same right so i have to create an issue type and then associate that issue type with this particular project okay so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon for further notifications and updates. Thank you for watching.